Okay, moving along, we're in the uh, subchapter titled, Can Machines Be Conscious? Uh, he opens, Chalmers opens the paragraph saying, the problem of machine consciousness is an especially hard version of the problem of other minds. How can we know whether a machine, such as Star Trek's data, is conscious? So clearly, uh, Chalmers takes the question itself as a serious question to be, to be posed. When I wrote my notes for this, I, I must have been a little bit uh, tired. I, I wrote, uh, can machines be conscious? Can I just say no and leave it at that? We don't know what matter is. We don't know what consciousness is. How can, ev how can we even ask the question, can machines be conscious? How can we even ask that question with a straight face? let alone try to answer it. That, that's, that was what I was feeling. But switching into a mode where we take it seriously, uh, 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 Data, I'm reading my notes, Data doesn't have a biological brain, but he behaves as if he does. Imagine a digital brain simulation running on a computer. Imagine your, ne your neurons being very slowly and gradually replaced over a span of time that makes the changes imperceptible. Chalmers describes various scenarios, hypotheses, and objections. It's all speculation. It's all imagination, I point out. There's uh, one scenario where gradually uploaded conscious brains retain their consciousness in the new simulated version because, quote, these bring your soul along. Again, these bring your soul along from the original brain, end quote. And I snarkily say, note that there was no trigger warning. So again, Chalmers, like, like most people, let's face it, like most people, like most enlightened people, uh, assume that everything that we're talking about somehow emerges from the physicality of the human body, uh, primarily the brain. That's the assumption that we're working under. I personally think that it, it's not necessary to make that assumption because it doesn't seem to be in the cards for that assumption to pan out in the case of consciousness. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, that's, that's the assumption he's working under. So have a, have a go at it. Talk about it. 